That's Lil Michaela and Bermuda and Emma, social media stars with millions of followers sharing selfies with friends, posting funny videos, typical teen stuff. Except these aren't teens. I guess just keep watching and catch up. They're not even human. They're computer-generated robots, virtual influencers with plenty of fans. No, it's just... First, obviously confused, like, why is this person using so many filters? Um, but then upon just further, just looking at it, it was just, it was just so cool to me. Carla Montgomery has been following Lil Michaela for years. She, like, lives as a robot in our world. I think it's super, um, just super unique. And super realistic. It questions the line of reality versus virtual reality. Virginia Tech professor Donna Hertalik thinks these virtual influencers are becoming more popular because of their targeted approach toward younger audiences. They can relate to someone that looks like them, talks like them, feels like them, and then them translating to be an influencer for these young communities. There's a company behind that looking to sell something, right? Like this comes back to like branding and influencing at its very core. It is the wizard behind the curtain that is playing like a puppeteer with these virtual beings. So you're not only getting into it, you're getting into, you know, who they're friends with, who they're not. And then by the way, I'm using this product and that product. Influencer marketing overall is a huge industry with brands expected to spend up to $15 billion on it by next year. And these digital stars are coming for a bigger piece of that pie, making money from sponsored posts, concerts, even virtual reality video games. Lil Michaela reportedly made more than $11 million last year. You're probably asking yourself, how is this robot talking to me right now? Carl McDormand studies human-computer interaction and explains the theory of the uncanny valley, which says as virtual beings look more and more lifelike, they go from cute to creepy for most people. But something else is happening with these virtual influencers. If they're interacting with a particular virtual influencer frequently, then it may have been uncanny at some point, but over time they'll get used to it. That can be entertaining, but some researchers point out it could come with a risk. I think there are general concerns about social media kind of shaping young minds and young brains. It can be designed very specifically to be liked, uh, to be credible, and so on. And that's a kind of new danger that we haven't seen before in society. What do parents need to know about the rise of virtual influencers online? Talk to your kids and find out what's going on because there's a lot more um, influencers and impact out there that could really um, change the future of our children based on how they're being conditioned. For today, Hallie Jackson, NBC News. God. Wow. Mm. Wowza. Another Great example of social media. It's yeah. going to be the death of us. Uh, <laughs> by the way, we want to wow. wish... You kind of took that someplace. Oh, Listen. Like, Woo. Just the comments that yeah. we're going to get yeah. every day. Uh, we want to wish our good friend Hallie Jackson the best of luck. In case you hadn't heard, her new show, Hallie Jackson Now, premieres this week on our streaming network, NBC News Now. You can catch it weekdays, 5 p.m. Eastern. Best of luck, Hallie. Good All fun. right. Good luck, Hallie. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.